creating a VM using system recovery, you'll notice that the VM is not independent of Actifio. While it uses disk space, if I go to edit settings, what I find is that the disks themselves are actually raw device mappings. So they're actually coming from Actifio. If I want to harden this VM and make it independent of Actifio, what I need to do is migrate. So I need to choose a data store target that's different to the one where I placed the VMX file. I need to choose a different source, sorry, different format. So in this case, I'm going to use thin provisioned, uh, and I'm going to run the storage vMotion. Now, very simple rule here with storage vMotion. If it finishes in a few seconds, it didn't happen. It has to take a while because it's really doing data movement. It's copying from Actifio in. In this case, I've, I've skipped over. It literally ran for about half an hour. Uh, if I now go and run edit settings, what you'll see is that these are now VMDKs. They're virtual disks that are independent of Actifio. So the data is actually in the data store. What I can now do, having done the storage vMotion, is I can now select the system recovery image here and do an unmount and delete. And when I do it, I won't delete the virtual machine. So I'll run that job. Uh, and then uh, when that job is completed, which will, uh, you know, it takes a few seconds, it's not that long, I'll go back to vCenter and validate that my VM is still there, still powered on, and still has uh, its VMDKs because they are, you know, independent from Actifio. So this is one way to, if you like, finish the job after a system recovery.